I'm Dr. Anne Child, Honorary Consultant in Genetics and Cardiology here at St. George's and involved in the service and research program for Marfan syndrome, which is an inherited disorder of the cardiovascular system. Uh, I run the Marfan Syndrome Service and Research Program, uh, and uh, we're mainly interested in diagnosis and management of this inherited condition. It's directly transmitted from parent to child with a 50% risk. It affects one in 3,300 patients uh, worldwide, and here in England we have 18,000 whom we know are affected, but there should be many more. Um, and it contributes to sudden cardiac death. 7% of sudden cardiac death is due to ruptured aneurysms. Yes, well, the diagnosis is often suggested by the involvement of the eyes, the heart, or the skeleton. These patients, 40% of them have dislocated lenses, so ophthalmologists should be aware. Uh, often they're very tall and thin with long, thin arms and legs and fingers, uh, and sometimes a dip in the chest or a curve in the back. So, so the skeletal features can also be a clue. And of course, from the cardiac point of view, uh, chest pain or a family history of aneurysm or rupture is very important. The usual route of referral uh, to make a diagnosis is through the regional genetics unit and uh, these are available all over the UK. Indeed, specialist Marfan syndrome clinics have been set up, uh, manned by a cardiologist and a geneticist in 21 centres. But the regional genetics unit is the best place to start for a diagnosis. There is um, a genetic test for the gene that causes Marfan syndrome, namely fibrillin 1. And in 99% of classical cases of Marfan syndrome, we find an error that confirms the diagnosis. And it can also be used to screen family members and even to plan an unaffected pregnancy. Well, here at St. George's, we have a very comprehensive management program which ensures an almost normal lifespan. So if this is diagnosed early in life, it certainly can be managed. There are medications available. Um, Atenolol or beta blocker is the basis of treatment usually. And this drops the blood pressure and slows the rate of the aortic expansion. That's the main life-threatening uh, event in Marfan syndrome, is if the thin-walled aorta ruptures and no one knows it's going to happen. Um, we can predict this with echocardiography once a year. We can treat with medication. And when the time comes for surgery, when the aortic root is over 4.5 centimeters, then we can offer open heart corrective surgery with only a 1% risk. Um, and most of our patients do lead a normal lifespan. We have a drug trial underway, which is funded by British Heart Foundation called the AIMS trial, A-I-M-S, and our aim is to try and prove that losartan, herbisartan, this newer category of drugs, is actually better than the old category of beta blocker. We're fully recruited. We have 200 patients nationwide, and the results are due in 2018 uh, and will be made available as soon as we as soon as we have them. But this promises either a supplementary treatment or an even better life-saving treatment.